was going on Legends, so with the Apex Legends mobile beta delayed until next week, <laughs> I'm going to take this time to show you more from exactly what we can expect from the game when it drops. So in today's one, boys, I want to talk about game modes. There's some freaking insane game modes coming to this game, boys, and I'm going to break them down for you now. Okay, so starting with number one, Battle Royale. There's no point in me even talking about this. If you don't know what a Battle Royale is already, go and play Roblox Struced. That's literally the best BR in the world. Stop the cap. <laughs> So what other game modes are there except from Battle Royale and Apex Legends Mobile? So, I'm going to get straight into Arenas. Now, Arenas is basically the Valorant of Apex. It's basically a 3v3 combat, squad versus squad, and you'll face off against the enemy without any squads third party in you from behind. What? And you can literally just focus on surviving and winning the fight just against that team. You'll basically compete over multiple rounds, striving to be the last one standing each time. Before every round starts, you'll be able to use materials earned during the previous round to get and upgrade weapons. And if you're eliminated in that round, your squad mate will not be able to revive you. So if you die, you're dead. But you'll be ready to fight again the next round. Now, if you go all the way to the ninth round, and let's say it's a draw, four versus four, then the game kicks into an insane sudden death mode. So you'll all know exactly what sudden death is. Whoever wins that round nine will win the game now in this mode there are tons of little maps they're all snippets from the actual battle royale mode as well so you get to experience you know a bit of king's canyon a bit of world's edge a bit of olympus so it looks pretty cool and as well guys we all know that there's a ranked mode in battle royale there's also a ranked mode in arenas so if you're bored of rank ranked grinding in battle royale get yourself over to arenas as well so there's two different ranked modes to, to... yeah there's two different rank modes to grind, so that's pretty cool. Now, in the last beta of this game, way in ancient times, because it feels like so long since we've even played this game, sometime last year, there was actually an exclusive mobile team deathmatch mode, which is basically six versus six on the same small maps as the arenas as well. It was absolutely crazy because PC and console don't even have that. However, in this new season, they just released Control, which is basically like a nine versus nine sort of mode, sort of like team deathmatch. You get to, you know, pick weapons. In this mode, there's no revives as well. So if you die, then you basically have to respawn and you can pretty much pick a select few weapons as a loadout as well. So you can change loadout every time you die not sure if this game mode is going to have a ranked leaderboards but if it does then that means we have three different ranked grinds on apex legends mobile now boys tell me in the comments how good that would be if you're bored of battle royale you can do arenas if you're bored of arenas you can go do some freaking team deathmatch how insane is that lit all right now in every single game there is always some limited game modes boys all right so in the previous betas that we know are already coded into the game and ready to play, there was a few limited time game modes that actually were announced and they were freaking fun to play as well. So I'm going to go over the three that I remember from the betas and give you a little uh, little bit of description on each one. So number one is Armed and Dangerous. Now this is my favourite mode. It is basically sniper rifles and shotguns only and there's only a few common body shields that can be found. So you can only use shotguns like the Mozambique. Mozambique, yeah. Yeah. The Peacekeeper, the Eva, the Mastiff. And then you got like snipers like the Longbow, the DMR, the Triple Take, and even the Kraber as well, the Beastie Kraber. So there's gold variants of weapons spawn in high tier loot zones and in airdrops, and all rare armors are disabled. So you can only use the white Eva and level it up to red as you fight. It's such a fun game mode. It does get super annoying getting bodied from across the map with a sniper and then getting lasered up close with a shotgun, but it is super fun. One of the best game modes in Apex PC and console as well. You can also to get special skins for completing challenges in this event like these gold skins as well so the mode is pretty lit and it's one of my favorites so you guys will love it now getting on to the next mode we have always be closing now in this mode the ring never stops it is always shrinking so you know obviously in battle royale it goes level one two three four it literally never stops so it's constantly slowly moving in except for a brief time near the end of the game so in my opinion this mode is amazing for getting high damage badge you know like the 4k badge and the 20 kill badge as well because when you get to that last ring at the end there's so many people fighting it's just a massive freaking brawl at the end it's like a freaking wrestling ring it's mad so this game mode is good for getting badges so you guys will love this as well and the final one I want to talk to you guys about is the airdrop takeover. Now, airdrop escalation or airdrop takeover is a newer game type, but instead of launching as its own limited game mode, basically the developers add it into the normal Apex BR mode. So when you go into BR, you'll load up and basically it's similar to, uh, you know, the, the play Apex mode, but it comes significantly with more supply drops and the, the supply drops basically drop in clusters. They, they drop at about, there's about five different supply drops that drop separately all around 
around the map. Each care package, you know, it contains gear and weapons of tiers that, you know, depend on the ground. So in like the, the level one moving ring, uh, you only get level sort of white and blue items. And then as we slowly move to the, the end game and the last little ring, you get sick red weapons like the Kraber, red armor and stuff. So also in this mode as well, the attachments can't be removed from the weapons. So, you know, if you pick up a weapon, it's got a holographic on it, then uh, unlucky. This mode's pretty sick as well, but all in all, those are the three game modes that were in the beta, so we know they're already coded into the game. They're probably going to be the first limited game modes to come, but that's the end of this video, guys. I wanted to just give you a brief description of all of the game modes that we can expect from the game. We've got loads of ranked leaderboards. We've got loads of different playlists, so it's going to be a lot of fun. <coughs> so that's better. All right, guys, that's the end of this video, but make sure you hit a like and drop a comment down below and tell me what mode you're going to be playing the most and what limited game mode you're going to be looking forward to the most as well. I've been Rose Smith Legends. Thank you so much. Make sure you hit a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!